Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and with the release of iOS 18 beta one the other day and iOS 18's overall announcement, Apple introduced some new AirPods features. I thought we'd talk about those and show you how you can try them out yourself. Now there's a new AirPods beta available to go along with this. And the first thing is you'll need to actually enable that beta to see those new features. Now, if you have a developer account, you'll need that. And then you'll go into your device. Once they're connected to your iPhone, you'll see here, there we go. We just connected and there's definitely some bugs where the animation isn't too smooth, but if we go into it and we scroll down to the bottom, that's where we'll see the latest update version. I'm already on the beta update, but you can see it here where the new update is seven, a two, two, zero E. If we go into that, you can see there's a case update. I don't know if they're going to update this or not. The case typically updates sometime later, but you'll see it's 70.60.0. Now, if you want to install the latest update, once they're connected, scroll to the bottom of your settings and go to developer under developer, scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see pre-release beta firmware for AirPods testing, go into that and then turn it on. That should allow it to update your AirPods. Now I actually tried this and it didn't work. I had to turn this off, turn it back on. And then typically they update on their own. Unfortunately with this update and just like iOS 17, Apple hasn't made an easy way to update your AirPods. So all you'll need to do is basically maybe play some music. That's what I typically do. Place them in my ears, play some music, place them back in the case, close the case, set it down, lock the phone, walk away. And usually 15 minutes later, they're updated. And again, you can verify that in your AirPod settings. Now, the first time you connect this, you'll see one of the new features. You're actually able to respond to Siri now by just shaking your head. You can nod yes or no. And the first time you connect it, you'll see it here. Respond to Siri by moving your head, respond to notifications in Siri by moving your head. And you'll see this here where it says control your AirPods by moving your head. And then you'll actually have to enable this. So you can move your head up and down or side to side to accept or decline calls and to interact with notifications without speaking or using your hands. You can customize gestures in the headphone settings. So that's one of those features. Unfortunately, this is specific to AirPods pro second generation. doesn't matter if you have USB C or lightning, all of the AirPods pro two are covered here. If we go into our settings, we can see our settings here. And the first thing is if we scroll down, we'll just keep scrolling down. We actually have a new section under our settings called head gestures, go into that. And then we can customize what we want it to be. So it says, accept, reply up and down, decline, dismiss side to side. If we go into this, we can just change it. So if you want to change it from side to side, just shaking your head up and down, you can change that back and forth or just turn it off altogether. So it says respond to Siri by moving your head and then you can test it out here. There's another feature you may have already noticed as I was scrolling down, there's adaptive audio. We now have a new option to adjust this. So if we go into it, we can bring it to less noise or more noise. And it says adaptive audio dynamically responds to your environment and cancels or allows external noise. You can customize adaptive audio to allow more or less noise. And the same is true with voice isolation within a phone call on AirPods pro second generation. So it will actually cancel out that background noise, just like it does on your iPhone, just in your AirPods directly. We also have an update that carries across to AirPods third generation, AirPods Pro and AirPods Max, as well as AirPods Pro second generation. We now have the option for spatial audio in video games. So using Apple's game mode when it's enabled. So maybe a developer enables game mode either on iOS 18 on iPhone and iPad, it can improve the overall sound stage to make it more immersive. So that's available on both the pro one and pro two, as well as AirPods three and AirPods max. So it's great that that carries across. And we also have improved latency in games on AirPods pro second generation and head tracking to go along with that. So we have dynamic head tracking and streaming, which delivers 16 bit 48 kilohertz audio. So that's in the AirPods pro second generation. Unfortunately, the head tracking for that overall improved audio doesn't carry across. So that's everything for AirPods in iOS 18. I thought I'd just cover it separately as my AirPods were not updated when I made the iOS 18 videos. And I thought I'd just show you the actual settings here as well. Let me know if you've found anything different. If you've noticed any changes with the overall sound quality, I haven't noticed anything at all. They seem to be performing the same, which is actually quite good for me. I brought them on a plane back in January and used these instead of the AirPods max as they seem to work just as good as far as noise cancellation. So it seems to work pretty well. 
I would still love to see Apple actually add an option to maybe software update here, but maybe we'll get that one day or maybe we won't. Either way, I would like some sort of status indicator there. So that's it. Let me know if there's anything else you found with your AirPods Pro with the latest update if you're running it. And of course, I'll link this wallpaper in the description like I normally do. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.